Hello and welcome. <laughs> I was paying attention. I was just I looking you. at my notes. Hello and welcome. Why can I hear you? Because I forgot to mute my laptop. Oh, well, good job. Uh, <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Ion Adventures, a world created and ruled by the Fae. I am Jessica, also known as I Sneeze Stars online in places like TikTok, Instagram, and other places. Um, and I'll be your shenanigan sovereign tonight. Uh, quickly, I will run you through the shows that we have on this channel. Obviously, Ion tonight, Mondays, Tuesdays, we have State of the Union, a shadow run campaign at 7.30 p.m. EST, GM'd by Coddlesworth. Uh, Thursday nights, we have The Lost Continent at 9 p.m. EST, DM'd by Mr. Markham. Friday nights, we have The Legends of Kralis at 10.30 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by Telerius Game Master. And alternating Sundays, we have The Rubers of Magic at 7.30 p.m. EST, GM'd by our very own Mazrix24. Uh, don't forget to uh, follow us on TikTok or YouTube. We have a YouTube um, and, you know, Discord and all of that. We will be putting up after shows soon. Um, yes. Who would like to, uh, I'll just hand it over to uh, Caro if you would like to introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Caro. I'm Imaginary Caro on TikTok and Corner Caro everywhere else on the internet. I will be playing Gilly tonight, our Wired Genasi Barbarian. Uh, James. Hi. Excuse me while I finish my chip. I'm James. Um, I go by Mazrix or uh, Mazrix24 pretty much throughout the internet. Um, most notably probably on TikTok where I lurk and say nice things in comments uh, and don't post much because posting is difficult and I have social anxiety. So <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, tonight I will be playing, depending on um, fate, either <clears throat> Art of Day's Ark, our human druid, uh, or Varian Arbor, uh, a bit of a smarmy storm sorcerer that shares a body with him so uh depending on that i didn't quit the accent that's kind of funny uh, <laughs> um it'll be fun um please don't mind me as i will occasionally be eating chips and quite often on mute but i'll be happy and be here so dan hi everybody i'm dan you can find me as the speed of candy on all of the various internet places i won't be eating chips because they're far and i can't do two things at the same time i will be super distracted um tonight i will be playing damascus silver the half elf bard warlock see what i mean about two things at the same time um <laughs> who is <sighs> excited because he can make objects dance now and he's going to at some point he's going to animate a bunch of statues and make them dance for him it's gonna be great i can't decide if that's creepy or entertaining no it's gonna be great Dance, puppet, dance. dance puppet. <laughs> They're objects. They're not alive. Dance monkey, dance monkey, dance monkey. Oh, oh, oh. make it. The one where I force dance, people dance, to dance for me is a completely four. different spell. I'll take that when I get level six. Oh, dance 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 is there a irresistible statues. dance. <laughs> yeah, yep. uh, that is a Damascus dance or mm -hmm. spell. Um, okay, so last time. <laughs> Uh, in AA, episode 62, a, um, a forgotten enemy. I wrote that as a town enemy, which I mean, you're not wrong there. Forgotten enemy. Beneath a forgotten town, our party clashed with the cunning false hydra. Its lair hidden in a deep well, dripping, uh, dripped with darkness and deceit. With, am I reading right? Yeah, I am. Okay. The, be the Beast played mind games, erasing memories and twisting loyalties. Faza, under its thrall, turned against the party, but her spirit soared when she broke free of the, broke free and unleashed a heroic blow, shattering the vile creature's reign. As the fog of its influence lifted, the party plundered the Hydra's horde. Uh, Edgar's forge bag of holding, uh, treasure thought lost, was discovered and as well as a Lewin's long lost gear. Not that they knew who that was. The party emerged triumphant, their memories restored and hearts ablaze with lessons learned. And uh, that's where we are starting. Uh, we have just finished 
our battle with the Hydra. You are underground. You're in its lair. Its dead body is right there. Um, you've found all your amazing treasured treasures and leveled up. What do? Uh, do we remember all of the things that we forgot because of the Hydra? You do. Okay. Minus a one. Because yeah. anyone actually killed and eaten and devoured by that Hydra is gone. I think the first thing Damascus does is turn to the others and go, well, now that, that thing's dead, do y'all remember why we're here again? We've got to find your mom still, right? Excellent. Wait, um, it's not your mom. It's a Rev's mom. Well, it's kind of your yeah. mom. She did raise you. Oh, you're talking Wait, to did... Oh, right. Varian. Varian is here. <laughs> I forgot about Varian. that. Yeah. Hey, guys. All right. Your That's body's funny. mom. Gotta People... find the body's mom. I appreciate that you all think that I didn't have a hand in raising the boy myself, but uh, I suppose we should make sure that she stays safe, shouldn't we? I mean, you're kind of a child yourself, sort of. Well, you're not. You're just <laughs> young. If you're young. You died young, right? I, he was that's, originally older than Arev, certainly. That's 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 what you 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 said, like older brother. Well, well, no. If you compare my death date as the, like when you stop considering when I aged, compared to like Arev's actual you know living age, technically he's older than me by about a decade. But that being said, um. I've still been conscious for about the 50,000 years. So I, I I think as far as older brothers go, as long as you're not being, you know, uh, I don't know yeah. if there's a word. I, is, is there a word for fair. that? Ageist? <laughs> ageist. I'm going to call it ageist. As long as you're not being ageist, um, I'm technically older. I've that's lived, fair, yeah. I've, I've experienced more, and there's more time that's elapsed, even though he's physically has a has a, a body that's older than mine than mine was when mine died. It's confusing. Anyways. I think it's just because you act like a shithead that we think you're younger than you are, he is. Well, I have to be a shithead because I... Because it's fun. <laughs> because he is one, as your, your necklace lights up. I think it's uh, important to make a delineation between chronological maturity and emotional maturity, there's definitely a disconnect there. Should we go find your mom? Or, or Rev's mom? As you guys, as you say that, uh, give me a perception check. I'm rolling dice. First roll of the night is a three. Oh no. Oh, God. Gilly don't see shit. 17. Gilly needs new dice. Gilly does need new dice. Eight. Eight. Okay. I'm going to say that with a three, you're oblivious. With an eight, you see the he the Hydra's head move. One of them move from, like, the side of your vision and, like, oh, shit, it's, it's not dead kind of thing. With a 17, you see Tamina standing there suddenly and moving one of its head to the side as she kind of just checks it. Is it her? I just immediately pull my sword back out and go, is it dead? Yes. You killed it. Just making sure. Ah. She that was kind of glances said. over you guys with like an eyebrow raised. What in the hell was it? If you don't mind my asking... I never heard of a monster like this before, though I imagine, given its particular peculiarities, makes sense that I wouldn't have. She stares at you for a moment. You see her weigh her odds and then goes, It's one of my creatures from my world. Ooh. 
I'm not a fan, if I'm being honest. No, I don't. I didn't like him very much. Uh-oh. He was a very sweet soul. I didn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Certainly cheerful. He was certainly something. Are there more of these things running around? Not many. I made a mistake when creating this one. I don't know what you want from me. Um, I told you I was angry when I first started creating. Fair enough. It makes sense. Um, I just got to say, if you call that one a mistake, I really don't want to see your successes. <laughs> mm. Wouldn't that be fun? I think we may have met a couple of them. Those cheerful fellas in the temple. Yes. <laughs> All right. I don't mean to be impertinent, but don't how you. in the hell did it end up getting here? It shouldn't Ooh. all of the things you made be wherever you made them. You didn't make it here. No. I need you to pay attention and keep up. Remember that when I was here, I needed help to create. Exactly. So how the... I'm assuming this came from that same place where that temple thing was, and um, how did it get here exactly? And are there more coming? I'm not concerned. That's the key question. Mm -hmm. Do you want to roll me a persuasion check? I love rolling persuasion checks. I am an eloquence bard. <laughs> that is a 30. 30, okay. With your 30, she almost smirks a little bit and goes, well, remember when you took something from my world and brought it Those... back with you and left something from your world? That sounds you made familiar. A connection, a tunnel of sorts, and they've been opening up quite frequently. Um, I don't suppose there's a way to, like, collapse the tunnel? I have Block been. it. But what's yeah. done is done, and new ones open. Mm. Oops. Oops, indeed. And this is just going to keep happening? More of these tunnels opening up and you popping up to try and close them. At least until my brother gets here. You mean so the, uh, the murdery one? Not murdery. What? Sorry, no, I guess that's a bit of a misnomer. It's not really murder if you don't really care about... It's not murder if you step on an ant now, is it? Exactly. I mean, it is to the ant. No, they have no concept of murder. Murder is a social uh, sort of idea for the for the people that try to determine why you go about killing each other. Um, and, and that, and, and an ant would just sort of have the instinct of, oh, no, run. Not like, oh, no, a murderer... Well, I would like to know if we he should be like running. He does like to play with his food. <laughs> I, so, I yes. Say yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From what I've understood, at least, I, I don't think running is going to make a difference if he tries to find us. You got a better idea? Um. Stop existing? <laughs> That's an option. Just, so, you know, preemptively. As tempting Would you as like that me might... to let that happen? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
said it before, I'll say it again. I'm rather fond of Iowan. It's where I keep all my favorite stuff. So um, maybe we'll keep this world around a little longer. As long as Bell Earth wants it. How things going with the two of you? Do you have a chat? Smooth no. things over, maybe? Well, maybe she ain't ready for it yet. Give her time. She'll get there. I have all the time in the world. All right. Does I win, though? That's a good question. Well, I think we should. We should. We should probably go and get your, your, uh, Rev's mom, and uh, should we like burn this thing or? If you like, is this one of those things? Were you saying something, Gilly? I said, were you saying something? I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, well, I was just asking, was this tunnel closed? Have you closed this tunnel? So there's nothing else going to come through for this particular town? Or should we tell people to move out? I've closed this tunnel. Who? Okay. I don't think this town belongs here. People are here because this thing drew them here. Yes. I want to keep food supply nice and close. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure they'll all gradually drift their own separate ways, get back to wherever it was that they came from. I assume. I'm more concerned about more of these tunnels opening up and what's going to be next. Just as long Who as you're not here. <laughs> I feel oh, like goodness. God should be able to say. You really bad. You know what I mean? I have to say that I, you seem to be sounding like you're having far too much fun with this. It takes a second. <laughs> Are you not? No. Did you see the. Maybe that was fun for you. No, did you see fine. You didn't die. No, yeah, well, but if we had, that might have been more fun. You know, you're a confusing friend. Thank you. Uh, friend. And he's very in turns <laughs> to Gilly, and I go, you know, I'm not sure she's welcome. Uh I think the secret is you're an aunt in this situation. And she's oh. got the aunt farm. Well, if that's the case, and he puts his Tipping hands heads. on his heads, and he starts, like, <laughs> wave, waggling his fingers around like and, like feelers, like antennae, and he goes, I feel like we should go that way. And his hands, like, point further down the <laughs> hall. She walks over to you and takes your head in her hands there just like hold on both sides and then leans down and gives you a little kiss on the forehead goes what a good aunt you are (laughs) and then she's gone i gotta say fellas i feel like everybody says the sea is all scary and it's got all sorts of crazy monsters in it but that that one's that one's scarier in my opinion she made this fucked up shit. Yeah, you... This is worse than a shark, mate. I, I give you that. Varian's you know, brain is just fizzled. <laughs> that's her Varian. mama. You know that, right? Yeah, so I was kind of trying to forget about that. Whatever is actually happening in the sea, I'm sure she's doing her very best to... Make Mama proud. No, it's fine. Mine's <laughs> nice. Mine's great. I'm sure she is to you. 
not so sure about the rest of us. Nothing will go wrong. Oh my god, why <laughs> would you say that? Uh, <laughs> Anyways, let's go find mom. Uh, Varian, right now. Oh wait. For the next. Oh yeah, something happened in the chat. Is that a thing that we need to address? Oh, cause chaos. Uh, okay, cool. Have... So I'm minus eight uh, D8 for a next roll. Oh, hell yeah. Um, I, I mean, unless let's it's fight a roll for us. In which case, <laughs> it doesn't yeah. specify. I'm just saying. Correct. Uh, Varian, you have the Dark One's blessing right now. Oh, which means uh, you can add a D10 to one of your rolls until you are, till you change from a Rev to Varian or Varian to a Rev. Okay. Cool. It's like a like a kind of inspiration. Yeah. I am I'm down for this. It's like a bardic. Hmm. Uh okay. What do? <laughs> uh sorry, I was giggling over the thanks or how dare you in chat. <laughs> <laughs> it remains to be seen. It does remain to be seen. Um well, let's so so what do we see down the hallway then? Like what what what's left? Beyond the the false hydra to actually see, um, there's a whole passageway. Yeah, there's a whole passageway once you leave this room again, that continues down. If from what Bella showed me when I asked her to help me figure out where Rev's mom is, she's hiding in a crack in the wall behind some like plants or something, hold up, scratching numbers into the wall marks or something well at this point can we just like yell as far well, as we know it's safe right i i mean as far as we know that there's a thing that was affecting our memory is gone but that doesn't mean that it was the only thing down here why don't we proceed with caution further into this cabin see if i can't find that wall that looks familiar Ways enough. Um, we probably we've got anything magical the lot of you that might help with that. I mean, we have a lot of magical stuff. That's... I can do the thing where I see magic. That's pretty much all I got. I can do some water shit. I'm very much tapped out of magic after that. That <laughs> fact, I got a oh. couple of little tricks left in me and not much more than that. Oh, I can give somebody back a spell slot if anybody needs it. I don't know if we need it, though. It's a thing you, I can do. You, you can what? Yeah, I've got a thing where I can touch somebody and give them back a spell slot. That's cool. That's mm -hmm. fucking awesome. Do you mean? I need your touch, touch to be like a punch, though. A <laughs> slap on the shoulder. <laughs> it's like a little, like, a get really back in the hard... game butt slap. <laughs> <laughs> a good old what do you mean you don't got anything left in the tank? Whack, get yeah. back in there, Tiger. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I love it. I feel magical. Get him, champ. <laughs> exactly. I'm too afraid to not have this. Uh, <laughs> um, so what are I we can, doing? I can sneak down if you want. Try and be a little subtle. Um, I don't have nothing that'll turn nothing invisible or anything like that. If that's what you got in mind. What are well, you thinking? So, if I'm going to be honest, a rev, of course, was a bit of a a, a bit of a kid every time that uh, Ella, that's his mom, is Ella, uh, took him on. So she used to take a rev when he was very very young on all of her sort of foraging and hunting trips through the woods to try to get him familiar with the sort of things she'd be training him on when he was a bit older. And he might have been young, but I I was still present, so I uh, picked up a trick or two of tracking, and uh, I I know some of the ways that Ella might actually try to hide in this sort of scenario. So uh, if you don't mind, maybe I'll just try and trace her steps and see if I see anything that looks like a. a 
one of her default hiding spaces, if that makes sense. You are you, more than welcome to lead the way. Do you want to roll me a history check? I can. <laughs> my own my conversation fails me. I was like, I'm going to try and make her think I can do survival checks, but history it is. <laughs> plus one, Just to remember go. something. Uh, that is a flat 10 with my plus one history. 10. Um, I mean, it's not actually that hard to remember. You do know that she has special arrows and such and can cast some magic. Um, and one of them is being that she can make like a, a massive wall of just plants and vines. Interesting. So then, well, I don't know if you're going to sort of take the charge here, Damascus, but if you do... There's there's one time that sort of sticks out to me. Uh, there was once that we were checking this sort of wild. Like, don't get me wrong. The people of Rhea, they, they like their plants and their veggies. But you get the, the main city, a fresh deposit of boar, and they, they go a little wild on that red meat. And there was this one time that Ella was tracking this wild boar with a whole bunch of uh, kidlets and... Uh, no, 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 I don't think it has any relation to Billy, so don't worry about Billy. But, uh... You don't know that! Uh, you know, I don't, and it's kind of putting a sad note on the story, so I'm going to try and ignore that part just just for my own sanity. <laughs> um, <laughs> But I, I really do feel... It, there was this moment that uh, a Rev wasn't paying attention, and... As they were on the hunt, he tripped over a, a, a twig. He made a really loud snapping noise, which actually drew the attention of the the the, the mother boar that they were hunting. Uh, and Ella sort of, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, it, it was magic, but suddenly there was sort of a, a wall of a, a wall of vines or a wall of plants or something. So just maybe keep her eyes out for any sudden intense. Greenery that looks like a wall. Well, I'll keep an eye out. You want me to take the lead and head on first? See if I can find greenery that sort of matches with whatever it was the wall Bella showed me she was hiding in. I mean, I'm not against following you if you don't if you catch my drift. <laughs> that was in character. <laughs> <laughs> that cackle was not that's just me keep your eye out for something dangerous as well more dangerous than me and uh, the masks will start walking his way down he'll like you, cast light on his sword and you use leave it as a the torch. cast light on your soul you leave the enclosure turn into the uh, dark space of the tunnel that you light up and come face to face with a bow and arrow pointed directly. Dire like, take you out in a second. I <laughs> warn you, I'm very good at flourishing my cape cloaked thing. <laughs> you have <laughs> come face to face with a female elf with long honey colored hair and yellow eyes. She is about six feet tall and gorgeous. Like we're talking fey gorgeous. <laughs> and who and who are you exactly? Uh, name's Damascus Silver. At your disposal, and who might you? Do you mind lowering the bow for making introductions, being all nice and ass? Silver. Are you Malax boy? I see my reputation precedes me. Were you not traveling with my son? Uh, but, but there. Get your ass over here. <laughs> Darian walks up and uh, it crests around Damascus's shoulder, but like drapes one arm over it and he goes it's good to see you again 
the bow was like slightly going down when she saw you and then back up. You're not my son. So yes, and at the same time, a great resounding no. But the important part and the reason you really need to stay your arrow is absolutely your son will be dead if that goes through my face. Is that a threat? I mean, only if you consider the fact that you're threatening his body and therefore you're threatening him, which is kind of a threat in the first place. I am not in any way threatening you or him. I'd quite rather he stay alive. She looks... She looks like she's struggling to figure this out. <laughs> like... <laughs> um, um, just, uh, let me try and put this as concisely as possible. A rev touched a painting and it awakened something that was living inside him, which is oh, some sort of <laughs> tiefling thing that's been there forever that got moved from a tree into him when Tamina came into him and now they kind of share a body and sometimes it's a Rev and sometimes he's Varian but it's both them at the same time in one body so if you kill a Rev while he's in Varian's body you're going to kill Varian too and if you kill Varian well they share a body so you don't shoot him because then the Rev will die. Billy pops her head over the shoulder and goes don't worry it confuses me too oh my god Hi. She, she looks over her shoulder like, what? <laughs> she, that reaction was like, she needs to shoot something. She's like... No, you're fine, you're like, fine, you're, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> you, mm. Oh, well, thank you. Mm. And, takes, like, and then she looks back at you, uh, Damascus, and she's like, you really are my ex son. As in my innate ability to concisely and completely summarize the situation? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'll take it as a yes. <laughs> Moscus, did you just refer to me as a tiefling thing? What, rude? I may have. I'm supposed to say that, mate. I mean, you're not really a tiefling because you're in a human body and you're more of a tiefling, I guess, thing. I shouldn't have said tiefling soul. Are you a soul? Are you like a consciousness? Are you, what are you? Where Entity? is my son? He's in there, I think. They're sharing. Uh, what am I? Kicked off an existential crisis. Oh, shit. But no, but seriously, because I was one way, but now I'm not, but there's a body, but I'm in the body, but I'm not in the body, but I am in the body, but I'm also a soul, but I'm not a soul. So I was a time past, but I'm also not dead, but I died, but I'm not alive, but he's you know alive, I mean? but he's not dead. Best not to overthink. But there's no, is there an overthinking? Am I even thinking? Are these my thoughts? Child. Why are all my thoughts so loud? <laughs> Deep hmm? In and out. Ah. <sighs> No, that didn't help. Okay. Uh... <laughs> this is not. I need your mother. <laughs> I need. Yes. Uh... Oh, so... uh, bit of a surprise for you. Um. Wait. It's more. Uh, no, 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 no. Good surprises. And um, I turn and I put my fingers in my mouth and I go. Uh, you jump you down want, here? You, you wanted to just careen. You left it. Oh, it's not. Um, it's not by the, the well. You you left Sasha to um, take care of Ray Bella, and they went into a house. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Her dad does still love her. We did establish that, so mm -hmm. she's not by herself. Yeah. So, anyways, here I am, like whistling, and then like realize after I whistle, I go. Oh, it's very good. You can whistle. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was supposed to be more to that um what has happened here and why why was i carving on the wall every time i left uh i take it you don't remember the thing no, you, you can go look at it if you if you want, but it's 
I I no. will warn you, it's horrifying. He, but it's, it's not... dead. Please don't. <laughs> Just We killed it so good, we were very heroic. Gilly, especially. Yeah. <laughs> there was a do, do you want to see like a image of it? I really don't. You can make a little uh, puppet show. The... <laughs> Move aside. Huh? And she's gonna kind of just step by you. Yeah. And look into the room. Uh and you hear, oh Mert. Is what is this? What is this? Are there more? Uh not here. And not a lot, apparently. Which, personally, I don't find particularly Okay, I need to be more so specific. If you're going to say here, does that mean just like in the vicinity? Or do we mean like... Uh... Uh, not in... I win at the moment. How could you possibly know that? Uh, I look at the others. Tamina told us. Are we allowed to tell people that gods are talking to us? I, I, I mean, we broke, this. we broke my parents' brains the second we met them. Seems only fair we All do right. the same to our revs. I was just thinking that perhaps we we tried to be subtle with your parents, but they are just made of different stuff. Especially your mother. Have you met your mother? Yeah. Wow. No, no. I mean, like, have you, okay, so obviously everybody meets their own parents, but you know how, like, when you get a bit older and you start to become an actual person, then you actually get to, you know, meet your parents, like, meet, meet your parents? Because they stopped just... talking. I met you... my mother the day I was born. What, what would have changed about that? You really are my next son. You are such a child. <laughs> you know, I love you to death, welcome. but... Man is not the brightest bulb. He's pretty, though. I know. He's very pretty. He's probably got a higher it than Dilly does. That's something. He does. Yeah. <laughs> he does. Yeah. <laughs> not by much. Don't worry, Damascus. <laughs> In Freud. So tell me about your mother. <laughs> no. I read the chat. Uh, uh, I will kind of put a hand behind Varian and just ease him forward and be like, you are welcome to take over the explanation. Do I have to? Somebody's got to do yes. it. Yes, I love to talk. Yeah, so you, you want to know... Oh, I have no, no idea what's going on. You, you want to know what's going on with... Uh... Danae. I mean, Mum. The look she's giving you is like, no, this is not right. <laughs> we and how and it's when bit... is he coming back? It's a bit. Does confusing. he know? Oh, he knows. Yeah. Why did he ever say anything? Well, he, I mean, he didn't know before he left. It's sort of a more recent... Um, are, are you familiar with the... No, uh, never mind. It's not important. Um, but there's also that time with it... No, that's not important either. Um, shit, it's way harder when you're talking to your own parents, isn't it? Uh, Told you. It's no, it, psh, uh, Are you my child as well. Were you twins and you did not come out? I know. <laughs> so, um, technically, technically, and please don't, you know, uh, freak out. Uh, te um, so I might have been a lot, yeah. So, my name is Varian. Um, hi, uh, mm -hmm. Yes, um, but Varian Arbor? That, she's just looking at you like, is this not 
okay. And I might or might or might not have been alive uh, when I was alive, when or when I had my own body. I mean, I am alive. I'm not alive now. But when I would, what, 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 uh, at, so, yeah. when you pause like that, she looks at at uh, Damascus as she smacks you upside the head, and she goes, "He's sick, and you did not help him." This is not right. That's He's making good. up. That's you are supposed to be good. your your father. I'm going to have a talk with him. Oh, oh, look, listen. He is here. He is alive. He just has to share his body from time to time because a uh, god grabbed a soul or mind or consciousness or something when she jumped out of a tree and into him. It really ain't that confusing. Fuck. We will get you to the healers. We will take you. You. We are going to see. We are going to see. Come. And she just so takes much you by the that. arm. So Varian. Here. I, I get taken by the arm. And Varian is still very much like blathering on. Trying to like get the right words out. But he's like. <laughs> Uh, weird <laughs> weirdly tongue-tied you know like e- e- in the way that only like dealing with your close relatives like no matter how charismatic you are like somebody who's like sp- known you when you were young or i guess when your body was young in this instance you always end up sort of tripping over your own words you know she's and- she's taking you back to uh like through the cave and like to your to the water and and all that area and every now and then she looks at you every time you like you stumble over something and she's just like we will go to we will go to yes we will go to dawn we will get you help (laughs) i I, at some point he eventually stumbles over goes would you think if i died you know forever ago T- would you would you say that I am fifty thousand years old, or am I only alive for like how much I've actually been present in Iwin? Because I was not present in Iwin for a very long time, but I was aware for a very long time. But there was a lot of screaming, but like it was just it was kind of it's more like therapeutic screaming. Have you ever just screamed into the void and then the void didn't scream back? But at the same time, you were killed by a goddess, but you weren't really killed by the goddess because she also sort of left you. And then you were like alone, but you weren't alone. But then you were like like definitely, definitely, you know, not. There were some moments where mm, you were not alone, but like it was just. You hear up, (laughs) and she turns and, like, just grabs you and pulls you to her and, like, holds you, and you feel, she's, like, petting your hair. She's like, I knew I should not let you leave. This is your mother's idea. Uh, Is Well, so, I mean, if it makes you feel any better there, uh, Ella, uh, I'm doing my best to make sure that he stays alive. So, just, maybe. uh, We will go and see the eldest ruin. She must be able to fix you. uh, Maybe, just. A little is your on the spike. <laughs> she kisses your face. <laughs> <sighs> I knew you should not have gone off on your own. I technically he didn't. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. Okay. I lean over to Kelly. Should we tell her about uh, the gods and how they're inside us or whatever. I I vote absolutely not. I think this is too much information already. So All right. I, I, as she's sort of like hugging me, like Varian turns to Damascus and without moving his actual hands, his mage hand comes up like this on his lips. <laughs> All right. I love that image. Like he's like hu- hugging her, but just Okay, we will. Okay, uh, we just need to get out of here. And she looks up the. Uh, it's like seventy feet. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't really think about that part. I assume there was another way out in the back, the way you came. No, wasn't there like a? It is a dead end. Anybody got a rope? And a really good throwing arm? Yes. 
And uh, all right, she, <laughs> never mind then. You, <laughs> she's already bent down to like disengage from Varian, as uh, bent down and is tying a rope to uh, one of her arrows. As she notches it and then pulls back, and the arrow kind of splits and becomes like almost like a what are those a grappling hook? Ooh, and catches the edge of the of the well. Okay, who will go first? Who's the lightest? Phaser. Probably. Might be the best option. Oh, okay, yeah, me. So Uh, I'll go first. Hey, does she have any spell slots left? Uh, yep. She's got a fifth, sixth, well, the sixth she just got. She has a fifth, a third, a second, and all of her firsts. Okay, so she has Vortex Warp. Which is 90 feet. Yeah. So she's going to just be like, yeah, me, okay. And she looks at Winter and she goes, yeah. And she looks at Gilly and she goes, you're probably the strongest. And she's going to uh, twin spell that and okay. put you guys at the top of the well. Oh, nice. And and then she'll swim over to the rope because it's in the middle of the lake and grab on and be like, can you guys like pull me up? I'll make sure it's nice and anchored at the top and then start and then pull her up. Give me give me yeah. a give me athletics check. She sent Gilly and who? Uh winter. winter. Oh. And Winter <laughs> definitely is at the top. He's gonna, he like gets out there and he goes, uh I mean, I could. Oh, I could have flown. Yeah, flown. <laughs> I got a nineteen. Shut up. Hush <laughs> and pull. Nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. You easily like she grabs on. Uh, you easily pull her up and help her out, and then it's back down. The throw the rope back down and Damascus. Damascus was at. He just kind of waited at the edge of the water as everybody else swam up to the rope or got vortex warped out. And like, even before Ella shot the arrow out, he pulled his bag of holding out and pulled out something that kind of looks like a backpack. Oh, no. But warped and deformed and broke it into pieces. Just a warped chunk of metal with straps. And he just takes it out sadly and goes... One day I'll get you fixed. Does Damascus have a fucking jetpack? Yeah, he Damascus does. Damascus has oh like experimental clockwork wings. Yeah, he, they blew up. Amazing. They the first time he used them, up. they blew up, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, yeah, he's very sad. He's been carrying them around Wonderful. this entire time. One day he's gonna fix them. <laughs> from uh, from the top of the well, you hear. How the hell did you get up there already? Flaps his little wings. You gotta get bigger so I can ride you. Oops. Sass me. Uh Quiza will over. turn over and actually just vortex warp the lot <laughs> the last of you guys out. <laughs> now that she can see where you're going. Taking too long. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> What's coming? It took a really long time. And you were staring at that thing, and last time you wore it, you blew up, and that's just not the vibe right now. We don't have our healer. Varian reaches the top, and he just goes, mm. Mm. A little just, bit of warning there, dear. Next time, please. Oh, Motion sorry. Sickness. You're okay. She'll pat your back. You're okay. And he goes, I'm not sure if that's actually helping. Maybe you should just keep doing that. <laughs> pat, 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 pat. <laughs> Your mother's like got an eyebrow, but she's like she wants to be impressed by you for a second there, but like also you're sick to her and need to be. You're not acting like her son, and you know. It's a very confusing moment. Yes, because yeah. like. <laughs> It's like invasion of the body snatchers, right? Like, can yeah. you imagine, like your spouse comes home and then all of a sudden you're like, "Oh, hey, honey, how was your day?" And they're like, 
But honestly, I have things I must say to you. Uh, I, but before, <laughs> I, before I say anything, I must have a cigarette. Um, 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 well, like now it, I know how I'm coming home from work tomorrow. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Just, you will. Amazing. It uh, it would be terrifying. You'd have to. The questions would be asked. So she's like. All of the green flags say my son is home and all of the red flags say who the fuck are you? Yeah, and at that at that moment there when she's like struggling with that, she takes her hand and um and presses a ring into it and it's a silver ring and she waits. She's like, "Ah, oh, there's no reaction." This is not a doppelganger. It's Is it supposed to do something uh, when it touches me? They don't like to touch it, the silver. You should you should know this. Oh, you think that I'm a... Oh, that's funny. No, 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 no. I Quite literally, this is your son's body. I'm just, you know... They do better. He was they already yesterday. I was. If that Actually, helps. that was... Uh, Did he hit his head between now and then? Only if you count no. gently placing it on a pillow as hitting. Because I, I mean, technically, there's. Apartment. Well, there was a bit How of an impact. Did you slap the pillow? <laughs> I, I told was... you, it ain't a head wound, it was a magic painting. It's a magic and now, painting. whenever he goes to sleep, he switches sometimes. Into the magic sometimes. painting? No, 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 no. Don't, don't so it confused. was a cursed object? No, no, no. It's just, uh, you know how uh, the young people, the youth, sometimes they have different phrases and sayings for things that, like, colloquial, co- colloquial, co- <laughs> colloquialisms. That's freaking hard to say with an Irish it's accent. hard to say without an accent. <laughs> <laughs> colloquialisms. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, short forms. And uh, the, the, the youth of the days are just calling um, bonks to the head. They're calling them magic paintings these days. So yeah, just not to get so confused. Like, oh, so yeah, you, you did get you, into that. You got a magic painting there, didn't you? It's like, oh, yeah, so shiny. They really use the proper art. Like, it's just the things that people say. You could talk a lot now. <laughs> he does. <laughs> That's coming from me. Always, just constantly. <laughs> It's very concerning. I need to copy your mother. We are going home. Perfect. <laughs> Let's we should probably thing. collect someone first. Or at least check in on them, make sure they're all right. Are there more of you? No. Uh, no. Uh, we've been traveling with her for a day or so. Little fella. We called herself Ray Bella. Uh, Varian like okay. pauses and he turns to Damascus and goes perhaps we should meet you uh, after we check in on them it's just it's not that important but it's just somebody that we want to check in on ourselves but we'll, we'll catch you at the outskirts of the town baby absolutely not you are not leaving my sight Okay, so I stay with you, and they go check on our friend, and they can... I, I don't need to personally go, and then they can just sort of come back and make sure that everything's okay. She crosses her arms. Who is it that you don't want me to see? No one. You can see whoever you like. You're a free woman. You're powerful, you know, independent. You can do whatever you like. So then let's go and see this Rebella. Okay. Varian gives a very, very pained look at Damascus. And he just turns his sort of shoulders so that Ella can't see his mouth. And he mouths to Damascus and just goes, We fucked up. (laughs) I will shoot him a message with the message spell and be like, What are you talking about? What's wrong? Isn't she your, like, cousin or something? Her? That's the problem? Or her dad? She's been kept a secret. I think knows that. She's been kept a secret, Damascus. My family doesn't know she exists. Nobody knows she exists. So it's a pleasant surprise. What's the issue? It's just a little girl. What's the problem? The issue is that the succession... (laughs) 
somebody being born that's so reminiscent of one of the of the first elder druid with that much talent and raw magical ability in the Arbor family. You don't see why maybe that might have been kept a secret when the current Elder Druid is, you know, ailing in health. If anything, it seems like it would be a good idea to get her all trained up and ready to take over should the worst happen. As you guys are having this conversation, Ella kind of steps in front of you and is like... I know that magic exists where you talk in your head and you think that I'm going to stand here where you have a conversation, your faces make this, the expressions you have. You're right, you are not my son. You're smarter than this. Okay, Ella, you know what? I'm just going to give you a bit of a heads up. Um... Ella. You coming, that coming from her son. <laughs> I'm just going to give you a bit of a heads up there. Um, I need you not to be shocked when you meet our, uh, our little Ray Bella. And most importantly, uh, you mind, you know, possibly giving me your weapons? Just. <laughs> no. Yeah. What is wrong with you? You know, Damascus, you're much more charming than I am. Could you maybe uh say something? And he like stresses say something. Uh, uh we're gonna we're gonna take you to go and meet our friend. We just need to make sure everybody stays nice and calm and nobody freaks out when we meet her. I think it'll be a bit of a surprise, a pleasant surprise, if you ask me, but. Is she deformed? Is she's she extremely cute. She's extremely cute. Ah, uh, you get a lot What of... is the issue? Let's go! Okay. I. <laughs> again. Just give a really pained side look at Damascus. It's really uh, nice to meet you, Mrs. Mrs. Desiark. I'm <coughs> our rep is really great. So, we like uh, you. Oh, so, um, Thesa. So she's not a. That's she's not a Desiark. Uh, that's, um, <laughs> so her name, her name is Crooks. Uh. Ella Crooks. Uh, it's not a. It's not a family name. It's confusing. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Normally, when you have a partner, you can assume their names. It gets a little bit weirder though, because uh, of course, Arev's other mother uh, has a, a another name uh, that doesn't belong to the family either. So that's. Uh, it's just. Uh, you lot are the most confusing people I have ever met in my entire life. I swear. Let's go meet the little girl. It'll be fine. <laughs> yes. Lead the way. Uh, and she looks at you. Gilly. Gilly. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Lead the way, Gilly. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to go now. <laughs> Gilly leads the way. <laughs> As you're walking, she's like, I just like your hair. It's a nice shade of green. Hey, thank you. I grew it myself. <laughs> oh, it's natural? Uh, no. Yeah. You know, I dyed it myself. It's, it's, yeah, it's my hair. Uh... Anyways. Where'd they go, guys? I don't actually know where they are. I'm just now realizing. They, you Does watch them walk into like. Again? We saw them go into into a house like just on the outskirts of like the the circle around the well. So like, okay, never mind. I'm going there then. <laughs> although y you and I were both like, charmed. yeah, I was like not super. So it, it would make sense if if we were not like coherent enough and like maybe 
we don't particularly remember, but Damascus definitely would. I would know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll point to the house that they went to. You can just steer me. I think it's that that, that one. Gila. Over there. Ella walks off towards it. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I will open the door very gallantly for the angry mom. As you open, as you walk up to it, you open the door. Uh, actually, before you guys go in there, give me a perception check, everyone. Oh. I'm loving these perception checks. Um, an 11. An 11. You are very oh. distracted with your mother right now. I, 25. I hear- Great. That's okay. fair. That one. That one. <laughs> you guys are distracted. <laughs> uh, with that 25, though, you do notice that when you got out of the well, um, the town that you are in has changed. So the buildings kind of like exude a very like antiquated and rustic charm. They're not um, dilapidated buildings like you, when you first walked into town. Um, They're thatched cottages. uh, They're very time-worn and stuff, but they, um, they have like thatched roofs from like, constructed from like a really dark timber that you don't think that you've seen before. Um, They have weathered stone wooden panels and uh, like their roofs are that have moss on them as well with like flowers that don't, that don't really exist in at least Rhea. Um, They have like the town has like a twisting cobblestone streets that lead between the houses and stuff. And, uh, where there was a tavern is actually um a modest kind of chapel okay so gilly goes to open the door very gallantly for the angry mom and then stops short very abruptly and says hey guys have y'all noticed the town um look at the town this is different this looks odd to me and as you guys look around, you do notice that this is not a building structure that you have seen on Iowan. This town man. is completely out of place here. Or at least the buildings are. I've sailed places. Do I recognize it? Can I roll? Go for it, yeah. Yeah. No, probably not. What would that be, like a history or something? Yes. That would be you remembering stuff, yeah. I don't know why I suggested history. I have a plus zero. That's a five. So no. Okay, no. You don't, it doesn't look really familiar to you at all. You've never seen anything like this. I don't think this is from around here. Should we maybe uh, miss days are uh, Ella. Do you mind just hanging on one second? I want to just check something out you are what is the problem here do you you've been spent you spend a lot of times in these woods i assume given your uh, proclivities towards nature and the like from what a revs told me Me? you recognize that wood or those flowers you see her stop that's my problem. Uh, what is this place? Did the whole town come through the tunnel? That's what I'm wondering. I wanted to see what exactly it was they were worshipping in there. Hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I go and I poke my head into the chapel. Just you run over the chapel, poke your head in. Um... Give me an investigation check. God damn it. (laughs) Nine. Nine. A nine. Uh, You have Bardic in the chat. I'll use my Bardic. Mm. It's only a D4, but I'll use it anyway. Yeah, got a three. So that's a 12. 12. That's better. You do notice as you're walking in that over the back of the 
at the back of the um the chapel at like over an altar there is um a bunch of runes that are inscribed in the wall that look very similar to uh those runes that you saw at the very beginning of all of this with the unknown and all of that no statues but those oh, runes look make familiar them to you can't make the statues dance um i will kind of take a mental snapshot of what it looks like come back out and be like so oh, remember those runes that the cult was using to refer to tamina and and whatnot you don't remember the cult that started this whole adventure right all right no you just got here <laughs> so did you I don't even yeah. know if you were with us at the time. Faisa, you know what we're talking about. The ones that... Right. Oh my god, is it just us that remembers that? I, I turn to Gilly and I go, High five, the Know Nothing Club. Well, Ed <laughs> ain't around anymore and it was just the... Uh, can we pause for like two seconds? Um, I just needed... To, I just recognized this when you guys high five, but you are wearing the exact same color t-shirt. All right. <laughs> You're right. Uh, you are. That's perfect. <laughs> we totally are. Nice. You're wearing the wait, exact same t-shirt. Wait, is this it, is the Know Nothing Squad shirt color? Is it is it Joe Fresh? No, it's from Target. Ah, uh, yeah, because mine has got nothing on it. But dang, so close. Well, <laughs> they use the same dye. It's a good color. It's, it's, a, it's, a it's like it's like a, like a light sort of like palish green color. It's a great color. It's a great color. It's mint. Anyways. <laughs> this this whole interaction was mint. Anyways. Uh, I, I catch them up on everything about the cult. Uh, there was a cult that worshipped the unknown darkness. Different symbols for Tamina, we think. They had uh, Phaser and you keep saying this name, but I do not know who Tamina is. She's... Here, how about this one? Are you familiar with Beloth? Of course I am familiar with Beloth. So, uh, it's kind of been written out of the history books a little bit, but apparently there's a sister. Um, as much as Beloth is a goddess of the light, there's a goddess of the dark, and her name is Tamina. And uh, due to the adventures that Arev has uh, encountered with this group uh, of lovely individuals, although that one's new, and he like points to Gilly. Um, I can yes. confirm, at least, that there is, in fact, a uh, living and breathe. Do you say she breathes, Damascus? Breathing, uh, goddess Moving of darkness. Okay, Monomur, I think that we should get home as as quickly as possible. We're gonna do that in just a second. Let me just finish getting them cat caught up. So, right, they were using symbols and sacrificing people to try and bring Tamina back. I turn to uh Hi, I'm a Ella. sacrifice. Form a sacrifice. Now she's awesome. Um, and so was my brother that now is this thing that we call winter, that he's not my brother. That was his body. Uh yeah, that's uh, a whole other Yeah. <laughs> I am your brother. <laughs> that's it. And they were using symbols to represent Tamina and whatever they were worshiping and trying to do. To bring her and whatever world she made, which I think included our friend downstairs, the point back to the well, and uh, that temple's de dedicated to her and to them and to the symbols they were using. So I think this town might have come here with the creature, maybe. Are you sure that none of you, you know, you ate something that you shouldn't have? Uh, you you breathe some like weird one of 
you know lots of lots of uh, plants they have they have spores and such that you should not be breathing in it quite sure and i will just use i think that maybe i should call your father to come and get you i use a uh, silent image to just show a picture of what the gods look like and i just phase through them one after another thank you go, yes and then end with tamina and go we've met most of them at this point winter ain't around anymore except for what's left of him in our friend over there the you wind. see her rummaging around in her pocket. She pulls out a sending stone <laughs> and is like, Malak. <laughs> Go ahead. He's well aware of the situation. He, uh, <clears throat> yeah, what's happening? Uh, your son is very, very sick. You have to come and get him. I don't know what has happened, but it has affected everyone. Uh, what's what's wrong with them? They are talking crazy, thinking that they have spoken to the gods and... Oh, uh, <coughs> sorry, Ella, Ella. They're, they're not lying to you. This is... Let me speak to your wife because something is wrong with you as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Ella, uh, I promise... I promise this is this is all real. Is this a, you you need to trust me. If this is a, this is a bit this is not and you hear him uh kind of like laugh a little on the other end of the phone and he goes he goes I know you trust me and I know you believe me now and I know it's hard to but I'm sure. Wait, hang on. Is is a rev not there right now? <laughs> no. Who is this Varen? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that so that happened while we were actually traveling together. Um, you did not tell me. <laughs> did not give me a call and let me know. Well, it just wasn't really my place. What do you mean? It's not your place. <laughs> this goes on and on for a little bit until like she uh continues like you guys get off the phone where she's just like this is okay now what i think we're all on the same page this is crazy <laughs> should i open this I door i think you should open should... the door we should, we should probably yeah Hi. I open the door. <laughs> you open the door. And as you open the door, a large white figure bounds out and just tackles Ella as she hits the ground and gets a bunch of slobbery kisses all over her from Sasha. Oh, she yeah. Cuddles into her tiger. Now, Sasha, I thought you were lost. And there's like a bunch of like... Rah, 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 rah. What do you do? You've Thank opened you. the door. Rabilla. Hello. Everything's okay. Little princess. No, you hear from somewhere like way in the back. I don't know who that is. No. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> sir. Uh, we're safe. You uh walk in and you'll see you'll see uh Roy standing uh, sort of kneeling down in front of his uh his daughter like hand on her shoulder like no I don't know these people who is that voice and uh when you walk in he'll look at you or uh, uh Varian and be like right uh uh Arif, what are you doing here and then he'll see Ella and be like Okay. Kind of. Well, you, you might want to sit down. <laughs> almost pull Ray Bella a little bit closer. Like he's. This is not a good thing. 
I drop the spell that makes him be a good dad. Oh no! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yeah, you Can't drop the spell to and see if anything changes. And he uh, he still is holding onto her and pulls her closer. Good. So, Excellent. like I was saying, um, you might want to sit down there, cousin. What the fuck is that accent? It's a a bit of a tall story, actually. Um, have you? No, we'll save it for another time. Anyways, um, just keep in mind. You know that uh, my mum mm, mm, here is a uh, deadly. But she's still no harm to Ravilla. I hope. There's... Uh, do you want to roll me insight? Yes. Love to. 15. 15. Okay. With a 15, uh, you can see this, like... He's got this look that's like, I should probably this is not like he's not comfortable here he's like this is we've got to get out of here uh you can um you know he's a spellcaster you know he's a very a pretty powerful druid i mean you he grew up and he's part of that family um and is probably looking it for what spell he's about to cast Rebella, do you want to come meet your auntie? We? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. And that was just that little, like, where he fully just ad- admits that there's, like, family in the room. Very oh, interesting. Sitting, sitting there with a giant smirk on his face, and he kind of goes, Gotcha. <laughs> mm-hmm. Papa, I want to see my my family. I'm sorry, did not, this is not the, the time for this. I assure you, we ain't going to let anything happen to the little one. She's going to be fine. Explain to me what is happening here. Sure. So, uh, Ella Crooks, uh, please meet your niece. I suppose it's your niece. This is this is this is his daughter, but Bi- biologically so. His this is Raybella Arbor. He does not have a daughter. Oh, he does not me. even have a wife. Oh, trust me. You don't need a wife to have a daughter. And do you know this from experience? <laughs> no. I don't think so. I thought you said you were always there. What exactly is wrong with a wife right now? A rev is not a rev, he has Varian. <laughs> She's just. You're, this room is like. You can tell, like, she's just fed up with what's happening right now. And the fact that Malak was like, no, this is a real thing. Uh, apparently, there is a, a child that she never knew about in her family. Uh, the fact that uh, Roy is here at all. She's just starting to have that breakdown that we know a Malak had back in uh, Draxted. What? You know, Roy, um, 
sorry for saying this, but you weren't really in your right mind when you met me uh, the last time. So I'm not surprised that you forgot that I, you know, the, the whole Varian Rev nonsense. I know it's a lot, but... Considering what like... are you talking about? You never told him. You kept your mouth shut. No, I I talked. No, you didn't. You let you let uh, Damascus cast suggestions to take his daughter into the house and take care of her. Oh, that's valid. So I may have lied to you before by keeping my mouth shut. But I would strongly suggest that you just sort of come clean and tell the truth about Rebella to tell my mom now before she goes back with to the rest of the rangers and has to tell them that you have a child, Roy. Oh, that was the... Okay, I'm going to open something up here. How much damage am I taking? Oh, it, ain't, it isn't going to be you. Oh, no. 14 uh, He... This very uh, bronze glow begins to emanate from him as um, he's getting ready to, like, you just said the exact wrong thing. Uh, he's getting ready to fight against you guys. You will not tell anyone about this. And uh, he's, that that bronze glow begins to, uh, I guess become a red flame as he begins to cast uh, or like get ready to cast a uh, firestorm. Um, all right. I think we're getting a little out of hand. There ain't nothing that we need to be fighting about. Let's just all take a breath, calm down a little. Ain't no need Boy, for us to get. You do What's not that? need to do this. That's Ella just being like, Roy, you don't need to do this. Correct. We spent the last two days traveling around with the little one, keeping her safe and making sure that she was able to find her. You think we did all that just to put her in danger now? Uh, I do not know you, so what? how would I know that? You don't. She does. Ask her. She's a child. Children are easily fooled. I mean, at the same time, though, uh, is it really that children are easily fooled or that children easily see people for exactly who they are, but adults are jaded and don't take them at their word? That's not, it's not, it's not helping. Uh, Oh God, I don't know what the, the okay, well, let's go let's look up the spell. Hang on. The fucking trident is out, by the way. Yeah, it is out uh, now. <laughs> Ella's got her bow drawn now. Um this is this is getting worse. Ah. Uh. I didn't plan on killing you today, Roy. I just wanted to not have anybody die. <laughs> We already fought a really nasty monster down in the well. Yeah, uh, this so if you wanted to give us a little bit of a break here, man. Roll me, somebody roll me a uh, d20. Don't tell me what it is. Just roll the d20. But roll the don't d20. Tell you the yeah. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Caro, high or low? Oh no. Uh, low. What was it? I rolled a nine. You see Ray Bella walk up to her, like, her, she's already, like, he's got one hand that's kind of behind him on her. Uh, she grabs his hand and then she bites him. Ow, <laughs> she, and then he drops the spell immediately as he's completely distracted. Nice. What? It's my friend's papa. She's... And he... She's almost drawn blood. Like, she bit him hard. Uh, puts her 
puts his hand up and heals it. So now what? Again. You don't bite. <laughs> well done, little one. She nods I, I do think that uh, you should maybe just come clean there, Roy. Obviously, Rebella's is tired of hiding in the shadows and wants to spend more time with her family. Maybe it would be for the best if you let her. No, it would not be for the best. Roll me, um... Roll me a history check on Roy. Ooh. That one. That one. Never mind. You don't remember shit. You're you're too uh, flattered by this to think of anything right now. Yes. I'll jump in and just go. All right. Maybe I'm missing something about the situation here. Why exactly? What are you worried is going to happen if people know who she is? Make the connection for me. Call me slow. Roll persuasion. Love to roll persuasion. It's my favorite thing to roll. Twenty-eight. Great if you convince him to just explain things to us. An extremely good strategy. Okay. He he looks stressed. Um, Varian, you know what Roy looks like normally, and it is immaculate. Uh, he is a very handsome, handsome man. Um, caramel skin, curly brown hair, bright, um, bright honey colored eyes. Um, and he looks ashen. He looks like he's got some dark circles under his eyes. He looks like he's been dealing with something for a while now. And he looks stressed. He looks at you guys and he goes... She will be killed. Again, point to myself and, and Gilly. We ain't from these parts. We know yeah, right now would want to hurt such a sweet little thing. He looks at Ella. Ella takes a second. We're going to roll this. Oh, hey, this is minus an, a D8. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> This is minus a D8 to see if mm -hmm. she gets this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Minus. Oh, that's that is below. Okay. She, Ella just looks completely flabbergasted. She goes, he rolls his eyes. Mon mère. My mother will. <clears throat> and Ella goes, oh, right. Yes, she is a crazy bitch. He looks a little insulted for a sec there, but then he's like, you're right. Um, All right. Okay, so she would not want someone... Wait, no, that does not make sense, because why? You are her son, she wants you to take the throne, and you cannot, but now you have a daughter. A tiefling daughter. Yeah, so problem. the first, yeah, she's like, she starts going back and like, well, some of them, and he goes, and then he takes a deep breath. A tiefling daughter born of a purple, a deep tiefling, dark tiefling mother. And that's kind of where, uh, for you, Varian, it clues in. Like, he's run a lot of campaigns actually against Dark Tooflings and getting them out of this and like ejecting them from uh Rhea altogether. Fucking politicians. Yeah. Sorry. Uh he's he's been the main like get get them out of here. We don't want them. Lull, like that kind of and now he has a daughter with one. Mm-hmm. My mother has her. Yeah. 
your mother has Rebella's mum. Yes. And what, um, in child-friendly terms, what exactly is the plan that she has for Rebella's mum? There are no child-friendly terms. How long do we have? As long as I play my part. But I have not exactly been playing my part. I... And he goes, You saw on the way in all of those purple tieflings. The ones escaping, of course. Of course I did. The ones I lead through here. Oh, so you've I been see. lying. Yes. I started the, the movement to get them out. I look at Barry and, and I look at Ella and I look at Roy. And just go, it sounds like y'all have been doing the exact same thing. And it sounds like you've been working with my dad to do it. I think we're all on the same side here. Don't you? I'm assuming, I say this part to Ella, you know what your wife's been up to. She, you see a look across her face where she does know what she's been doing she didn't know who the contact was and that wasn't ever it was never explained to her and we're told Varian, when we left Drex I promised when we left Springtide I promised my dad I'd do what I could to help his mission and it's more than just leaving him a little bit of extra gold. If Brian, your step-aunt? I don't really get the family relationship here, but if Free and Rebella's mom is going to help keep people safe, I say we do it. What exactly does she have planned? Why are you trying to take all these evenings out? Those are good questions I would not have to ask. Yeah. I know, Damascus. I love you I'm anyway. In danger. I'm going to try and save him. Seems like the thing to do. Uh, he, uh, you see Roy kind of shoulders back. Uh, I don't know. But she is planning something. And it will affect them all. Roy, have you any idea how much time has passed that you've been in this village? No. I do not. I turn to my crew and I go, Damascus, not that I hate to say it, but I think you're right. And I think the right thing to do might be just to avail ourselves of any probability of helping any of that folk just to stay safe. In this particular instance, that also happens to be Ray Bella's mother, and maybe that's two birds with one stone, or uh, maybe it'll be too convenient uh, when we go to actually execute any sort of plan to of action. But how could you not? Try and help. Damn. As far as I'm concerned, we're just the mom saving squad at this point, so might as well go get another one. I mean, yes. yeah. Let's do time. that. <laughs> I'm here to help. The mom squad. <laughs> Have a situation with this. <laughs> I bet you do. 
There are a lot of hot moms in here. I'm just letting you know, Gilly. Yeah. Oh, I um, noticed. Uh-huh. Uh, Do we have any idea of where she might be keeping her? No. I have not she... seen her. And he looks down at Raybella since she was six months old. Are you even sure she's alive still? No. I'm not. I, I turned to Ray Bella and I go, that was just a hypothetical, sweetie. I, I'm sure she is still alive. I, I was just... I and she starts to cry. And, and Roy kind of looks at you like he's, he's about to firestorm all over again as he picks up his daughter and sir... I'm sure she's fine, and I'm sure we're going to find her. Don't worry about that. We just <laughs> Wherever she is, if she's using her as a bargaining chip, your mom's going to have to keep her close. So wherever your mom's at, it's likely your wife's there. Wow. It's likely she's there, too. When you, when you say wife, it's like a look like she will be. <laughs> Fair enough. It just might get a little violent if we try and remove her by force. I direct this at Ray. You ought to be prepared for that possibility. Is there somewhere safe you can leave Raybella where she doesn't have to come with us? That might be a great idea was taking her out of here because I did not think anywhere else was safe. And uh, you'll see Ella. She finally, like, puts her bow down and goes, well, I could keep her at my house, I suppose. The tiger's also taken a liking to her, so... Hey, wait. Damascus. Yeah, Barry. What you thinking? Well, you... So do you remember that time you were trying to do something nice for me? Do you have to be a little more specific? He likes to think he's really nice all the time. Okay, so... Do you remember the time when you offered to let me see my own face with that hat of yours? I do. Well, if you're not attached to the thing, maybe you can give Raybella here a chance to have a different face. Mm. And she doesn't necessarily have to change her name or even tell anyone who her family is. Maybe she was just a lost girl in the woods that mum brings home that uh, needs a place to stay for a little while. I do have a pension for strays. Terrible idea. I will take off my hat. I'll go up to Raybella. I'll kind of like kneel down in front of her. It's probably a little oversized. Uh, he's, for she's, her head. she's on, uh, she's, she, he's picked her up. He's holding her. Okay. Then I don't kneel down. I tap her on the shoulder until she turns around. <laughs> hey, darling. Mm-hmm. I, got, I got a present for you. Well, give me my present. Well, you got to turn around and see what it is. <laughs> Wipe snot on her dad's jacket and then turns around. As they do. As they do. I take my hat off and I go, now this is a very special hat. It's very dear to me. And I'm going to give it to you to hang on to me. Not forever. Just until we bring your mama back to you. All right? You hang on to it. And I put it on her head and it's probably way too big for her. And it like Right down to like, right, her eyes right here. Now I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine your anything you want. Imagine yourself as 
You ever wanted to have red hair or she becomes taller? She becomes a green gnome with red eyes and uh pink clothing and and yellow hair. That's an improvement. We'll we'll work on refining the details as as you travel. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. A, That's bloody perfect. Head. For for like the first time since you guys have gotten there, you hear a like uh from Ray uh from Roy as he uh leans over and gives his daughter a kiss on the head. It's very I'll good. Throw up a little silent image of a mirror so she can see what she looks like. You did a wonderful job, darling. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Now you hang on to that for me. And then when we meet again, we'll trade. I'll give you back your mommy. You give me back my hat. Sound like a good deal? Yeah, okay. All right. But you got to keep it safe for me, okay? Make sure it stays on your head unless Aunt keep, Ella here Keep it tells safe you like a crown. Like a crown. Yeah. It's a perfect crown for it's a princess. Crown. I'm a princess. You are a princess. Certainly are. Adjusted on her head. There we go. The the image flickers for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we want to take our break here? Sounds good. Why? Well, we'll five minute break. We'll be back. We'll Perfect. be back, everybody. See you soon. one hi everybody we're back i totally zoned out hi everybody we're back from the break um and our group is in a a cottage not of this world uh with uh roy and who is more or less the prince of of all of rhea and uh, Varian and Arev's mother. Well, Arev's mother, Varian's... Yeah, it's your mother, let's be honest. <laughs> Something like that. What do? I saw... Yeah, I saw that you, like, kicked your thing, and it was like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, was that a power I mean, flicker? I have no idea, but it keeps doing it, and that's making me nervous. Is it Stormy? Yeah, oh, mm. heck yeah. Okay, anyways, I'm going to leave one ear uncovered. Yeah, just we'll, so that... uh... well, if we have to stop, we'll stop. Or do yeah, we, okay. we can call it early if we need to. Let's, let's play and <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> yeah. If we lose you, we'll figure it out. Um, Should we leave? We've got a plan now, at least. A direction yeah, you're going to bring, you're going to have to, uh, you, well, you were heading home anyway, but now you're going to bring Ray Bella to Arev's house. Yeah. I guess we head back to your place. Uh, uh, there. I mean, I guess it's your place, Ella. More than anything. That's the it more is. accurate description. Yes, of course. And uh, we can this regroup from there. home as well? You did not grow up there? It... Can you really say that I... A rev grew up there. I accompanied the girl. Were you it's not there the whole time? Yes, but I didn't. Well, then do I much... suppose you grew up there. But I didn't do much growing there. Mm. Have you always yeah, so... been this much of a shithead? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, then you're right. You did not grow. Just ask the necklace if you don't believe him. He is, yeah. He's always been that way. I don't even want to know who that is. <laughs> so, oh, hello. I'm uh, I'm Miss Lynn. I'm his sister. No, it's complicated, Miss. Just don't bother. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? His yes. sister? Wait, do I have another child I don't know about? No, 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 no. no. You, you still only have the one. We just got tied in with the fate of the two of us, I suppose, and... Uh... Somehow, 
if Varian's your son too, then she'd be like your stepdaughter, maybe. My children just keep growing. <laughs> oh, Hi, no, mother. A... <laughs> 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 oh, that's why I did this. I just I knew this would be a shithead. No, I wouldn't. I, no. I would not have wished this on my enemies a thousand times. <laughs> On the plus Please side, no. they are all grown, so easiest way to become a mother of multiples. That's okay. Yes, uh, that's true. Roy is looking at you guys like you're insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think we may be. I don't know if uh, we should. I don't think me. And he's holding his daughter closer. <laughs> it's a long story. We'll tell you on the way. We should probably yes, get walking. Do. As you guys uh, are make your way out of the cottage, um, you notice that there are a bunch of people kind of just like milling about, uh, not quite sure what's happening. Uh, Roy excuses himself from you guys for a second and, uh, and runs over to um, one of the people that you met earlier, the one with the snake tattoo on his leg, uh, Wolfa, I believe it was. And uh, and you see them exchange words as he's nodding and and uh, he comes back to you. He goes, I was helping remove people here. <laughs> he's going to continue the journey with them. Seems fair enough. Shall we? I think so. Do we notice anything else weird about this village as we leave it? What are you looking for? Signs that it came from another dimension? It looks like nothing that you've ever seen here before. Um, You're not sure. Ella doesn't know what the plants are or what the wood is that it's made out of. It has runes from another that originated in another place. You tell me. You could have just said yes. It obviously comes from another. Well, it just, I just, I, I mean, you know, I thought we had we worked that out before the break. Okay. Let me see. Is there like a distinct like line of demarcation of like what part of it came? You know what. Um, give me, give me, uh, investigation. That's not great. Eight. It's a, it's actually, it's fairly easy to see. It'll take you a minute, like, as you're walking out, you kind of go from the, the, um, cobblestone, suddenly, to grass, or to, uh, to dirt of the rainforest. And it's, it's very, like, oh, that's, that was... You trip a little over that, like like oh, that was a, a an abrupt change. Okay, maybe just make a note of what the approximate radius of that was, just for future reference. Uh, it's a small hamlet, so um, yeah. I mean, I don't, I I would, I can't even begin to tell you how big that would be, but just we all make a mental ballpark of it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> And you guys uh, continue your way through the woods uh, or the jungle, heading towards um, Varian's and Ella's and Arev's home. Um, as you do so. That was to me in his voice. That's scary. As you do <laughs> so. She's <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. She's probably still watching you guys, to be honest. This is fun for her. The oh, shit yeah, show that just went on now. Come on, let's be honest. She's definitely a peeping Tomina. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, she is. <laughs> now that she's here, she watches she watches you guys from time to time. A thousand percent. Uh you continue your way through the woods. Um I'm gonna say you probably are coming up on close to maybe a downtime uh, because you guys have been traveling and doing stuff all day 
and fighting monsters and whatnot. And none of you, I believe, have much spell. You don't have any of your... No, okay. Yeah, so... I, I, I've got guys... magic. You've got magic. If you guys... um. You guys travel with Roy and your mother and all of that until it's about time to settle down for the night. What do you do? Because Ella's gonna, Ella's good to sleep out here. This is her life. This is what she's good for. She doesn't know anything about your, your condo. Mm. True. <clears throat> Marion, do you want to maybe See if she wants to crash on the couch, maybe. I could ask. Uh, so, just what you do know. you need the clout that comes with being good with sleeping in the forest for your ranger mom? Ooh, good point. You maybe maybe you want to sleep in the forest too. I'm sure you're very comfortable out here. Keep in mind, it's exactly what Arev did for the year or so before he hooked up with your group. He was comfy out here. It's just a... I suppose you could say it's a, it's, it's a very end thing to have a taste for the finer things in life. Not that he ever had them. Hey! <laughs> what? I mean, you're not We wrong, spend most but... of our time wandering a desert! Hey, a boy can fantasize. I mean, I probably fantasize too much, and about what I'll leave to your imaginations, but still... I don't want to know! Hey, Winter. Yeah. Nothing. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> uh, and then I... You know what? Uh, Winter has something that I believe it's like a, a spell that can freeze you your feet to the ground for a second there. Oh, it's... Yeah, I think it's his god ability. Yeah. yeah. He uh, He's like, you know what? You fuck with me enough. And then Varian... I think it's a, I think it's a strength saving or, or a deck save. Oh, I, I, he'd choose to fail it, honestly. Yeah, he just, you, your feet for a second there just get glued to the ground as ice mm -hmm. takes them over. You know, you just asked me to stay still. And then he get a flick in the forehead as he passes you and the ice, ice melts away. I'll get you back for that one. You've got me enough, honestly. Oh, not even nearly a bit. You had me hanging by my ass to the ceiling. You levitated my butt. <laughs> and and, uh, your and I'll mom, do it again. Your mom kind of trips a little bit. Like, I, there is a story, sir, I am assuming. So, I, um, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit odd to explain there. Uh, Ella, mum, Ella, it's, but, uh, the types of magic that I've got are, uh, different from the ones that you and Arev have been taught from your schools, so. Why do you say that with such disdain? No, it's not disdain, it's just a difference. From I'm your schools. To I just try to explain that, you know. It, magic sort of comes naturally to me and certain, certain spells show up at certain times and I I don't really ask that many questions but I mean if you're instructed you're instructed there's no shame in that you know if uh, you can't make your own spells at home store bought is fine right she looks a little insulted <laughs> Okay, and what does this have to do? Well, so I thought it would be funny once and I ran past Winter, slapped him on the ass, and uh, cast a spell that I like to call Levitate, and left him hanging from the ceiling. It was extreme. It was extremely funny. It was funny when we undid it and he just fell. I, that was funny too. There was There were two things funny. It was twice the funny. One yeah. spell, twice the fun. So funny. It was so funny. I can't believe I missed it. You're going to have to do it again. No, don't do it again. <laughs> Not to me. You've already done it to me. 
there's Damascus right there. Not it. No, <laughs> you can do it to me. <laughs> you can do it to me. Let me take my eyes. It'll be great. <laughs> Let me take my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Did I did I hear you right straight? Now. Oh my did, god! Did you just, did you just t- ask me to take your ass? <laughs> no, oh, I'm not excited. Put my ass in the air. Okay. Uh, with, with that being said, um, so Ella, um, Damascus, have you done the door thing yet? Um, uh, was waiting for you to explain it, or do we want to show and tell? I. Show and tell. Pick really up my wand and just draw a door in the air with the a wand. A glowing gold door appears that uh, shimmers with Baloth's radiant light. And you hear Roy go, What's it? Oh, if you like that part, you're going to love the next one. Go on through. He looks at you shifty. He's like, you go first. Sure. And I go and I open the door. I just like walk through, pop my head back out and go, scaredy cat. And then I go back in. My child. As he, he's under, bitchy under his breath as he uh, walks through after you and takes a look at your uh, apartment for the first time. Your mom is like at the door, kind of like, hesitating sasha pushes her through and goes over to the couch and lays down on it the, uh, t- the tiger takes out the entire couch oh yeah the couch is just covered in white fur yeah and slobber because she drools constantly oh. um yeah she's got a derp face uh and your mom comes and goes uh, at least you know, have been traveling well. I see. Yes, it uh, quite took me by surprise the first time that I realized it was bigger on the inside. Uh, is it like um, a dimension, a spell? Oh, kind of. That. I think, yeah, right, Damascus? Uh, don't ask me exactly how it works. We need a wizard. Mm. I have been in one before. It is it's similar, smaller, I think. Huh. Well, but this it does pretty... not. Uh, the the mansion does not feel like Beloff. Hmm. How do you know what Beloff feels like? You do not feel any of the gods that you pray to. No, I mean. In a manner of speaking, I have felt. <laughs> Shut up, I... Damascus. <laughs> Isn't that what I'd she's... like to? <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I... You cannot tell the difference between the energies. I mean, Tamina's got an energy that I'm fucking terrified of. So if that does that, uh, roll me insight. Roll me insight. Who do you say that name? Tamina. Anyway, oh, me. Yeah, I like rolling a dice. I'll roll a dice. Same. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, that's good. That's good. 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 Seventeen. Seventeen. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Sixteen and seventeen. Uh, you peaked his interest with that name um with a 23 you damascus are like he knows who that is Ooh. you recognize that name um yes uh the goddess of darkness and fear death little peculiar that you recognize it but your cousin doesn't my aunt uh, is she your aunt? uh Sorry, roll me another insight check uh 14 this time 14 oh no i don't know man uh you there's an awkwardness between when when that when you say that it's awkward between um 
him and uh, Ella, but you don't know why. It's just weird. Mm-hmm. He called her his aunt. Maybe that was it. Maybe. Makes her feel old. Nobody likes that. Seems generally weird all around, so that checks mm-hmm. out. How, how do you recognize that name? I am the eldest druid's son, grandson. You don't think that I have access to texts that most people do not? I really imagine that you would. The restricted then, section makes me wonder what <laughs> yes, kind of text the it is. Section. What kind of text is she showing up in? Anything involving uh, another plane of existence, maybe? She was banished out of Ireland to another plane of existence, yes. How do you know this? Um, It's a long story. One that requires a lot of booze. Varian just makes eye contact with you. And he nods. So Varian's like, thank you. Finally, (laughs) you don't just tell everybody everything. (laughs) Wow. Any chance you can get us a, a gander at this restricted section? What are you looking for? Um, all right. Theoretical situation here. It's a thought experiment, so I need you to put on like a, a the right mindset. Imagine. He's, hang on. And he's gonna take. He's gonna take Raybella. Take the hat off her head. Put it on like the table. Take out like. Uh, she's got her little bag, so he's taking out like his, some crayons and like paper and stuff and he's like he's like why don't you uh create me something to put on the wall at home and she's like okay he goes to like he's like i don't want my kid hearing any more of this yeah that's that's fair um and i pull out my alchemy jug and i pour us all some some wine it is gracious, graciously accepted by Ella and uh, Roy. And so imagine there's a banished, Vitamina got banished to another dimension, another plane. Imagine that somebody accidentally linked that place with this place by maybe leaving something there or taking something from there here. Or both. Mm. And how would one travel from there to here? A thought experiment. Let's just say it happened. Okay. What I'm wondering about is whether or not somebody would be able to close those connections between the places. I do not know. That is not something I think that has been done before. To know like how to manual in the in the restricted section. Not that I am aware of. And I have heard most of the stories that have been passed down as well. He well, rolls his true. eyes for a second and he goes he goes You speak of another dimension. Yes, there is where There have been seven of the the Elder Druids. All of them train the next one, and they tell him the stories that should not be written down. There are stories of Iowan existing in a bubble of sorts cut from a being that contains multitudes of different worlds. Uh, That Damina was the one to do it. Damina cut this 
took a part of this being to create a bubble world. Like Something like worlds. that. Uh, the story goes that she created this world with the others and um, decided it was hers. Something to keep safe. So she cut it off from the rest of everything. Oh, I got a real bad feeling about that. I turn to uh, Varian and Faza, and I don't think Gilly quite knows about the big eyeball in the sky and what we did to cause it. Gilly's here. Gilly would have seen the big eyeball in the sky. Everybody saw the big eyeball in the sky. I don't know if she knows that it's our fault, is what Mm -mm. I'm saying. She would not. (laughs) Yeah. I just turn and go, uh, what do you want to bet that Tamina, whatever, whoever she took a piece from is the reason why everybody's so eager to find her? And why her brother's coming this way? What? I'm going to need you to explain that, please. At that point, Ray Bella shows up with a giant eyeball. (laughs) She drew. (laughs) I point to the eyeball and go... Your daughter is very intuitive. They're just staring at you. You know, as far as family struggles go, this is probably the weirdest one to date, don't you think? Your mom's like, uh-huh, yeah. 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 Apparently I had a twin in the room that I didn't know about, and he has been inside my son the whole time. Like, just as she's drinking. <laughs> and he has a necklace of some daughter, sister, whatever. It just... She drinks another cup. I wouldn't say it's that complicated. So, it, technically speaking, Arev... Where did you come from? Varian. Is it is where did I come from or is it where did I go? Where, where did, did you come, come from, from? Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> uh no but for real. Um I That's a complicated one. I I don't know if I can tell you exactly where I did come from, um considering Why don't you try? Well, you've already been told that we talked to gods recently, so uh, sure, uh, why not? Um, so I'm from 50,000 years ago. Mm-hmm. And how are you here, exactly? By the grace or by a, the whim of some sort of god, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Your chest, you feel... You feel Vara, like almost like the indignation of like, how dare you? And he quietly puts a finger on his chest and he just goes, shh. No, do not shush. I want to understand where you are from. As that shush was not for you, Ella, I swear. Um, I. I know I may have spent the good old 34 years of all hanging out sort of as a Rev's shadow, paying attention to everything that he was doing, but for the last little while I've had my own freedoms, and it's... So I apologize, because every instinct in my body is telling me that I should just, you know, spill my guts to you, but I just don't feel like now is the time I... It's weird to say that I've known you 
Rev's entire life, but you still feel like a stranger because you're just starting to meet me. Do you want to roll my inside check? I would love to. Fifteen. That that struck a chord that was like she's she's trying to keep her face like passive, but that struck something and that that hurt. Very interested to like soften his voice as much as possible. I just don't know if like I can do that. Um, but he tries to soften his voice and he goes, Look, it's okay. It's really not. I I didn't lack for nothing. I might not have been in control per se, but all of Arev's joys, all of his experiences and all of the good things and all of the love that you gave him, I... Well, for a while there, I might have lost myself a little bit, but it was always the love of you and Danae that reminded me that there was something worth paying attention to. So, I owe my interest in even being here a second time, largely due to just how much love you showed this young boy. So, don't ever doubt for a second that he isn't aware how much that you love him. She nods very slightly, but remains quiet. He's, and then that's when uh, Roy will pipe up. Is uh, is there someone somewhere we may retire to for tonight? Why don't the two of them take my room. It's comfortable and probably less strange than some of the other ones. Well, I'm not sure. I think Ella might enjoy Arev's room, actually. I was referring to Roy and, and the wee one. I don't oh. even remember that I'm here. This is, I don't like you. You're not my knight. And then... <laughs> You know what, Damascus? You, you can she's have got, a like, speak. She's bleary-eyed by now. Like It's late and she's tired and she's starting to get fussy. And, Faze, if you don't mind, maybe you and I could cuddle up in your place? I don't mind. That just leaves Ella. She's with me, I think. I can sleep out here. You might want to just wait and <laughs> you know what? No, don't wait. Come with me. I have something to show you over riffs. Uh she'll stand, she'll fall she falls behind you. And I walk down the hall. I open the door to my room, <laughs> which like opens and is immediately that like nicely sort of uh not natural and in, in the slightest manicured lawn that clearing reaches out to the, the grove and all the night sky and stars above. And I was just like, perhaps something like that's more your speed because it's outside, but it's inside. But it's inside if you get in a tent, but it's also outside, but it's inside the outside that's inside of the outside. Inside. There's just like a hand that comes covers your mouth. Just, you uh, talk a uh, lot uh, more uh, than uh, a rev does. Uh, <laughs> of course I do. I was silent then- for so long. <laughs> yes, okay. And raises her hand, just like looks around, I'm like completely like this is the this is great. This is fantastic. She's walking in, just like what is this? Then she's like staring up at the sky with all the stars and like she's seen a Rev's telescope. And just like did he make this? Uh, no. Yes. No? That's a complicated question. So what you're seeing above oh, you, I don't believe was created by Rev, in the, much the same way that Damascus's room wasn't created by him either. Uh, other than it being sort of a gift 
uh, to our hearts of the things that we truly cherished or admired. Um, so, in my case, or in Arev's case, that's why you see what you see. She walks in further, uh, kind of like looking around, does a spin, and then goes, Sasha! And the tire gets up immediately and bounds down the hall, like, ready to, this is where we're going to sleep tonight. Oh. <laughs> yes. I can't yeah. mom. <laughs> yeah. At that point, Dodger comes out of nowhere. Oh. And runs across and, like, cuts them off to run to you. And they're just like, I. Very, like, buckles down. <laughs> Gets ready to catch Dodger, and Dodger just like phases through him. Yeah, and he's, he's like, he's like ah, no. close, close. Ah, Dodger, I keep telling you, to, gotta wait till your buddy's corporeal, buddy. Oh, ah, ah. And by that time, he's turned around and jumped on your back <laughs> in solid form. I like reach up and I'm scratching his ears and messing him and playing with his teeth. I don't understand what is happening here. But I oh, think so... they don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy that's particularly valid there, Mom. Mr. Standard Garden Variety Ghost Dog. <laughs> and uh, Just... you notice as she's standing there for a second there, uh, she looks at you like you called her mom for real. <laughs> and, she, and she's like, yes. Uh, Yes, uh, let's uh, somewhere to sleep. And then as she's saying that, um, uh, almost like a, a campfire begins to appear before you guys. Okay. Oh, that was for do this. I was going to make one. Okay. And uh, she sits down beside it. And in her bag, she pulls out some marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to have a roast of marshmallows together. Anybody bring a graham cracker and some marshmallow and some chocolate? She pulls some out of her bag. <laughs> some orange. That's what she used to do at night with her. Come on. Oh, yeah. She always, she always keeps a few just in case of a rev. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, what is everyone else doing for the night? Um, I'll show Roy and, um, Rebella to my little, um, tavern bedroom. Mm -hmm. Just show them in, tell them where everything is, tell them we got the place to themselves. And, and downstairs, you... there is a band, and he sings, and... <laughs> but apparently there is, it's rather surprising. But you're welcome to cuddle up to you if you need anything. Uh, we'll be in the room next door. Just give it a knock. And kitchen's yours, so you got free run of it. Just don't go running off. Uh, I say this last part to, er to Ray Bella. Gotta make sure I get my hat back from you at some point, right? Yes. Okay, good night. Close the door. And he you hear like he he thanks you as you close the door and of course. retire for the night. Uh anyone else? Is that is that it for the night? Gilly wants to go for a swim. Gilly's gonna do a little night swimming on her beach. Hell yeah. She's yeah, I think she's been thinking about it and she's wondering, is this it's presumably not the actual ocean, but like, what are the differences? Can I go chat with Oceanoa in there? Or is there any animals in there? She's just going to check it out. Because I don't know if she's swum in her little ocean before. No, she has not. Um, well, not like really explored it. Yeah. So you shocked. dive into that. Mm -hmm. um, roll me. Ooh. Roll me. A nature check. Okay. Uh, Sixteen. That's pretty good. You, as you're swimming, you notice that it is getting deeper and darker, um, as it does. Uh, it seems really natural to you, um, but a little more barren 
than what you're used to. Not There's not like fish or anything. Um, and as you uh, continue swimming, how deep do you go? I'd say, I don't know. I, I don't have to breathe. So yeah. just kind of as deep as I can go until I feel like I have the lay of the land, I guess. As you uh, continue, roll something. As you continue, um, this is something that happens quite frequently to you when you're in the ocean. You There's a shadow that you see out of the corner of your eye. Um, it's never yeah, threatened you. I said you. I'd rather... Oh, it's that one. Yeah, it's <laughs> never threatened you. But it has it has been with you when you go deep into the into the ocean, and uh, you you see it. That's that familiar shadow that seems to. It's farther away, far enough away that you never quite make out what it is or who it is, or but it follows you down. Okay, I'm gonna go towards the shadow. I don't think Gilly usually does that. She's feeling no. bold. Uh, okay. Give me... Ooh, give me a luck check. Okay. How do we do those? Just a straight roll. Straight roll. Okay. 15. 15. That's pretty good, too. Um, as you... As you uh, go towards this shadow, let me just get out what this thing looks like. You begin. It begins to take shape, and it's. Where is it? Oh, here we go. It is the form of a. Uh, it it's water that's uh, coalesced into uh, the form of almost a, a woman of sorts. Um, it's not solid, but it's enough that you can see her uh she has a um a large large crown there on her head it's not ozia um oh, she's okay. very very beautiful very uh very almost like uh, ethereal in a sense like she doesn't look she obviously like is fey of some sort like doesn't look like real almost as this water never quite coalesces into what she should look like and sometimes she has a tail and sometimes it's just waves of like running like currents of water can i talk underwater i presume yeah. I, I don't see why not yeah hello i'm gilly <laughs> hi uh with it i, I rolled it okay 18 she, <laughs> or 18, 18 for this to happen so uh she she sees you and she goes, I know who you are. I, well, I didn't want to presume, but you are in my room. <laughs> so, are you aware of that? Do you think you're just in, like, the open ocean? How does this work? Who are you? That's a better question, actually. Uh, she almost, like, very reserved raises an eyebrow at you, like, you do not know who I am? Well, I thought, I was thinking I was you know her. Uh, but I've met her. And I, I don't think you're her, right? Are you? You could be. I am part her. Oh. She is my mother. Oh. What does that mean? You see her almost sigh. <laughs> you are not aware of anything, are you? Can't really know, honestly. And she It's part of my charm, I like to think. She is uh she swims close to you and kind of wraps around you as you're Oh, hello. <laughs> as you're swimming. Like it, it's not like tight, but it's enough that she's circling you. Um not a clue where you come from. 
are you talking about the the water genocide thing? Because I know a bit about that, actually. Are you a mermaid? No, oh. I'm not a mermaid. I thought I had it. My name is Ira. Okay, well, that's and something. That's something I give to people lightly. Oh, thank you. I am the Profundo Ocean. I am the archway of it. Okay, so you're in charge of part of the ocean. Yes. Okay. Does Gilly know where the Profundo Ocean is? You've been in it. Yeah. Okay. You've I like probably that been in you've it's the um the Arctic part of the ocean. So it'll be like oh. the colder ocean. There's on the other side where you are where you guys are now would be the um would be the uh Andes de Sal, I believe, which I may have messed them up. I haven't looked at the actual uh map right now, but one of them is the warmer, more tropical area, and one of them is like the colder one. The colder one is by horn. Okay. I, well, that's my uh, that's my home sea, really. Uh, I like that okay. one. Okay, well, yeah, <laughs> great. Um, I have been with you every time you come into this water. Well, that's nice. I always uh, I, I liked having you around. Little Sorry, I've never met you. Touches your cheek. Oh, I. <laughs> So, uh, uh, are you here for a reason? I watch you every time you get into the waters. That oh. way you are safe. As oh. I have been asked to do. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You don't think, Fay, little mortal. Remember that. Oh, right. Got it. You I did know that. Me. I will not ask anything of you. I appreciate your presence. Well done. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Well, you would be smarter. So you know of your genasi? Yes. But you don't know the other side of you. The, the other side? Well, my parents are elves. You see her eyes kind of just roll a little bit. <laughs> I suppose I don't know the other side, then. Then it is not my place to tell you. Oh. Well, isn't that mysterious of you? Not to be, not, not, not to be rude, only, sorry. I, mm. Am I, am I, like, keeping you from the rest of the ocean right now? Because we're not really in it. Is that correct? We are not. In a sense. You're in a pocket of it. Hmm. Seems awfully deserted in terms of fauna. Yes. I only gave Belloth the water. Oh. When she asked. Well, it's lovely all the same. Bit of seawater makes me feel a bit more comfortable. Hmm. You can make it to the water. On the Andes de Salle. Perhaps you should go inside and go for a swim. Noted. 
Because I don't think you've actually ever been in that water. You're okay. more on the other side of the... This stuff, the the Andes cell would be way, like, Rhea and all of that, like. Or you've been in the sea that's between them. There's not much boat travel on the other Maybe side. It's... Okay. So is this, like, a travel tip? Or is this, like, a cool mystery? Just There's filling out the vibes. who wishes to meet you. Oh, but they, don't, like, they cannot come to my side, and I cannot go to theirs. Well, I will do that then. Thank you very much. Er, think of it. She's, <laughs> I'm too polite. <laughs> How have you gotten so far in this world, little one? People like me. I can understand why. Well, I I suppose I'll let you get back to, you know, your whole duties. I'm kind of tired, uh, so I'll uh, just pop back in my little hammock there. Unless you've got when any you more. Say- when you say you're tired, you feel the water begin to like almost create a current and like take you into it and you swirl around and she brings you back to the top and to the sand and then is gone as a wave retreats back into the ocean. Bye! I appreciate that! And that is the end of that (laughs) and i think that's where we're gonna call it for tonight uh gg guys gg gilly is such Uh, a bean i love it right i do love gilly she's literally so sweet Mm -hmm. uh Okay, so, um, yes, uh, everybody, I am Eisenhe Stars. I've been your shenanigan sovereign. Uh, we'll see you next week. Daniel, would you like to take it away? Hello, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as The Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. And tonight I have been Damascus Silver, the half-elf bard warlock who is missing a hat and totally okay with it. Because uh, he's cuddled up with Faiza and everything's all good. Yes. Uh, let's pass it to James. That's me. Hello, I'm James. Uh, Mazurk Store, Mazurk Store 84, based on where you want to find me on the internet. Uh, tonight, I had the pleasure of playing Varian Arbor and then forgetting to switch out of his accent in between <laughs> scenes because it's just so easy to talk that way. Um, uh, you can find me if you want to hang out with me most places, but uh, most notably our Discord. And there's gonna, we're going to drop a link in the chat because there's lots of dad jokes. There's tons of games that people are always trying to fill uh, of many different TTRPG systems. So come hang out, have a good time, share some memes, and uh, come back and hang out with us more. You know? Love. <laughs> um, <laughs> you still can't do the new one, can you? Yeah, no, I, I can't. My fingers don't bend oh, that God. way anymore, think, though. Wait. Mm, mm. The arthritis has crooked them. Yeah. I'm old. Let me be old. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Wait, uh, here, there you go. We'll just do this one. And that the uh, Gilly still has to sign out, right? Oh, yeah. yes. yes. I've been Caro. I've been Gilly. Uh, Gilly met two hot girls today, and it's been a good day for Gilly. Um, Three. And, the, 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 the I hot mean, of the girls, the hot. Of the day. Oh, that's true. That's true. Well, she's met she's just, Gina before. She's just scary. <laughs> she's terrifying. Very hot. <laughs> and oh. I am imaginary Carol on TikTok and Corda Carol everywhere else. And d- come find me. <laughs> See you guys next week. Bye.